vagina guard is now trying to disregard my talking point when I was using the talking point of Creole. So he doesn't, he's not a fan of terms like MGM or golden because they're not actual terms in the dictionary. So that's his, that's his thing. You know what I'm saying? He's not, he's not interested in creating something brand new for 2024. He wants to go all the way back in time. You know what I'm saying? So He's not interested in a, in, a, in a golden future. He's not interested in the future. He wants to go back into the past. You know what I'm saying? Vanguard, he's a, he's a pastime ass nigga, man. He want to go back in the past. You know what I'm saying? He want to go back in the past, man. And yeah, I'm using the N-word because you like the N-word so much, so we might as well just start saying nigga too, right? Right. But uh, and I seen you had another little character that try to come back you up, and he's not even American. He's not even from America, dude. You you all the way over there in Europe, you all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, and you want to jump into our conversations. And this shit really don't even got this don't even really pertain to you, homie. Whether you mix race or not, you all the way in the UK, dude. But like I said, y'all can tap dance around it all y'all want. Go into any dictionary y'all want to, and we're going to keep on, and, and, and pretty soon we're going to take it off the internet, and we're going to start opening up these books. We're going to start actually opening up real books. We're really going to dig deep. Creole has a variety of different definitions, homie, but one of the def- one of the many definitions for Creole is definitely a person mixed with African and European. You know what I'm saying? Specifically with, with, with a certain type of European, though, you know what I'm saying? Usually, normally, you know, uh, Portuguese, Spaniard, French, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Creole still has a variety of different definitions. So I already have my, I already have my uh, identity established. So I don't need to participate and your little mulatto thing you got going on. Any of y'all, I don't need to participate in any of this. I don't have to. I already have my identity. You know what I'm saying? I already have it. I already have my community. It just needs to be preserved. We already got it. We already know that Louisiana Creoles are mostly what we call mulatto people. That's a fact. That is a fact. Yeah, Creole has a variety of different definitions. But Vanguard wants to tell me that we can't you we shouldn't be using Creole because Creole is under the umbrella of blackness. Now, I do somewhat agree with that, but if you're going to say that, I mean the same thing could be said about the word mulatto. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to say Creole is under the umbrella of blackness, then so is mulatto, silly. So is mulatto. But look, I, I, look, it says it's Creole is Creole a race or ethnicity. Now, like I said, keep in mind, it Creole has a variety of different definitions. It can mean a variety of different things. But look right here, it says, contrary to popular belief, the term carried no racial. But but that's the thing, though. That's we're talking about originally. Originally, it, it had a couple of different definitions, but along the lines, you know, Creole eventually um, got a bunch of different definitions. You know what I'm saying? And now today, one of those definitions is definitely somebody who's mixed with African and European. But see how it says contrary to popular belief? Exactly. Because we know majority of Creole, normally if you go to the state of Louisiana or you go anywhere in the South and you bring up Creoles, most people, when they think of a Creole, they think of somebody who looks like me. They think of somebody who looks like you, Vanguard. They think of somebody who looks like us. They think of a mixed race person, a mulatto person popular belief because that's who most Creoles are. 
Yes, there's some Native American Creoles. Yes, there's some monoracial black Creoles with an admixture. Yes, there's some monoracial white Creoles with an admixture. You know what I'm saying? But they 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 make up a a, a minority, especially the white Creoles. There's there's hardly any of them. Normally, white people you would normally see white people um, being a Cajun. You wouldn't normally see white Creoles. Normally, you see white Cajuns. Most Creoles are definitely mixed race. What is Creole as a race? So I already have my identity, Vanguard. I'm sorry that you don't have an identity with that actual culture behind it. That's, that's, the, that's the big thing. You don't have a culture. That's, that's where the tragedy comes in. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you, bro. Dictionary dot dictionary dot com. A person born in the West Indies or Spanish America, but of European, usually Spanish ancestry. A person born in Louisiana, but of usually French ancestry. Cooking. See, there's a lot of different meanings. It's a lot of different definitions huh hold on let me go back oh there we go hold on see more see more all right that's it So Vanguard told me that Creole is under the umbrella of blackness. Bro, don't you do, do you even know where the term Creole originated from? It originated from white folks. But this goofy going to talk about Creole uh is under the umbrella of blackness. I mean, yeah, it is under the umbrella of blackness, but it's also under the umbrella of whiteness. And isn't that what I am? I'm black and white put together, right? Mixed together, right? And I am a Louisiana Creole. So I already have my culture. I have my identity. I'm good. I'm gravy. You got to put in some work overtime, Vanguard. You need to hurry up and make you something, bro. I got my shit already. Yeah, that 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 was hilarious to me. That 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 this man said that it's under the umbrella of blackness. Well, of course it is. So is mulatto. They're both under the umbrella of blackness because that's what we are. We're mixed race with black and white. We're under the umbrella of two different races of people, aren't we? By definition, I mean, if we're going off your logic, are wouldn't we? Wouldn't we? Aren't we under the umbrella of blackness either way? Silly. I don't know, man. Make it make sense, homie. <laughs> 